You know what's making me lose my mind now? The people who hate borax. What do you know about borax? Nothing. I've been using this stuff for almost 30 years to teach kids how to make slime. Borax is the perfect linking agent, sodium tetraborate. And news stories who are totally irresponsible, telling people that this is dangerous, it has vilified something that we need to get kids excited about science. And I'll venture to guess you know nothing about borax. Do you? Do you know something about borax? It's borax sodium tetraborate decahydrate. Too much to have to say. It's the borate ion, right? The boron compound that's the perfect linking agent for slime. Where was it originally discovered? In Tibet, in evaporative lake beds, these dry lake beds, these uh, uh, salt that they mine. That's how they originally found borax. Not only used as a detergent, it's used in cosmetics. It's actually used in some food. There's so many uses. Uh, just a quick glance of Wikipedia, you go through all the natural sources of it and where it comes from and all the things it can be used for. Now everything is, is borax is bad. Where did that come from? How did borax get to be bad? Well, borax got to be bad because of an irresponsible article that came out on television, I'll let you figure out who said this, of a mom who allowed her kid to make as much slime as she wanted to for a three month period of time. This kid was soaking in borax and water, making slime, having fun. Well, what happened? Her hands got irritated, skin got irritated. You'd think that that would make some sense. No, 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 we're gonna let our kid continue to play, continue to play until you take her to the hospital, claim that there's burns on your hand and now all of a sudden, it can't use borax. I wonder what the people at Elmer's think about us not being able to use borax. They must have a solution. We gotta find Elmer's glue. So here we go. My kid still wants to make slime. Borax is bad. Can't have borax. No, because it burns your hands. It's horrible. So you couldn't even find white glue on the store shelves a year ago. So I'm sure that they've come up with something because this is, this is how you make slime, right? <gasps> they've come up with a solution. I couldn't even have thought of this in 30 years. Elmer's glue plus baking soda, plus, oh my gosh, contact lens solution. It's the secret. What could be in contact lens solution? Because borax is bad. What could be in contact lens solution that would link all those molecules together? We gotta go find some contact lens solution. All right, well here, here's our contact lens solution. There's a lot of it. You know what, I've been making slime for 30 years, but now that it's contact lens solution, there must be some secret that's inside here so I don't have to use the borax anymore. Let's take a look at this. Just take a look, look right there. Do you see what it says? So sneaky little boric acid and sodium borate. Oh my gosh, there must be borax in contact lens solution. But it's just fine to use contact lens solution with glue. That'll make perfect slime because we are chemically illiterate. We have no idea what we're really doing here. So they trick us into thinking everything is just fine with this when in fact we're still using borax, right? Why is it that people, major buyers of stores, are banning anything with borax in it, uh, all the science kits and everything, because borax is bad, yet it's okay for another company to be able to say, hey, the safe version, and it goes all over social media. All over social media is chemically illiterate, right? completely misses the point that borate ions are what link molecules together. What links molecules together gives you slime. Stop being an idiot. So you know what we learned today? Maybe you shouldn't give your kid a box of borax and let him just sit there for a couple months and just play with it without being supervised. What else did we learn? We learned that it's a team effort. If we want to get our kids excited about science and engineering, if we want to prepare them for a STEM-based career, if we want teachers to have the tools to get our kids excited about science, to possibly plant a seed and let it sprout, then maybe it might be a good idea to leave it to the people who maybe know something about the science. Ask some questions before you go about typing stuff that you know nothing about and making it really, really rough for the rest of us. That's what we learned today. Borax is okay.